flying and driving. Yep, we're back on safari. Safari Alaska was filmed in front of a live animal audience. With our skunk friend leading the way, we were set to explore the 49th state, Alaska, the last frontier. Actually, we would only explore a small part of the state, as Alaska's huge. It was a smart purchase on our half that we practically stole from Russia. This last frontier is packed with wildlife, what? and there is no better place to familiarize yourself with its wildlife than the Alaska Wildlife Conservation Center, about a 45 minute drive south of Anchorage. The Alaska Wildlife Conservation Center opened over 20 years ago and it provides a home to orphaned Alaskan wildlife along with other conservation activities. The first animal we introduced ourselves to was this big guy eating grass, the elk. A male like this can average about 800 pounds and its antlers can reach 4 feet across. We had seen wild elk just last year on Safari Yellowstone and Alaska only has a few small populations of elk on some of its islands way down south. Already, Puddin was having a blast in the rain. What is that, Pud? It's an elk. It's elk in velvet. Wow, you can just feel her excitement. A lot of people come to this center to get some great pictures, as with these huge enclosures like this, the animals look like they're right out there in the wild. This little one here would need to stand close to his parents, as a bear would look at him as some easy source of protein. We then walked up to a large herd of wood bison an animal that became extinct here in Alaska about 100 years ago. They are usually larger and heavier than the ones you would find on the plains in the lower 48. This herd came from the Yukon Territory in Canada in 2003. Since then here at the center, they have bred them and there are plans to release them right back into the wild. For more information on that program, read the website links here in this video's description. How cool would it be to see these guys roaming around Alaska's forts once again? A short walk across from them we can hear some splashing. It was Alaska's most popular animal, the brown bear. These two were playing with a log floating in their pond. Just look at those claws. This would be a sight that if you saw on a hike, you'd want to start slowly backing away, as this is a little too close. But here at the center, you can get this close view of one of the largest predators in nature. Speaking of close, this bear was right up to the fence line, hoping the keeper who was nearby would toss him some more food. As a bear keeper myself, I can tell you when the air starts getting a little chilly, these guys want to start packing on the pounds. I then took time to get a few shots of one of the more interesting looking animals, the musk ox. With its shaggy coat and curved horns, it looks like some prehistoric woolly beast. They could range from a small female being around 400 pounds to a large male reaching easily over 1,000 pounds. Because of overhunting a century ago, their populations went extinct in Alaska. But they have since been reintroduced to some parts now and share some of their habitat with the polar bears way up north. Other than the polar bears, these ox would have to watch out for some arctic wolves and brown bears as well. Seems like the predators just don't want to leave them alone to eat their grass. Across from this ox were some orphan moose. Moose can become orphaned, for instance, if their mom is killed by traffic. Whenever you think you see a wild orphan animal, always call the proper authorities so they can assess the situation. Here was a herd of caribou, an animal that we were hoping to see here in the wild in Alaska. And for me, another animal that I would also love to see in the wild here would be the beautiful lynx. These two were doing what cats do best, and that's sleeping the day away. Right outside the store was a playful young deer. Oh, I mentioned store. Puddin loves the shop. On the other side of the store, I was reminded of a job I had for years before I became an animal caretaker. Now it was unloading UPS trucks. I would have loved to unload this small one instead of those big 18-wheelers. And speaking of big... The cool thing about the conservation centers, obviously in the wild, you're never going to get this close as well as you shouldn't get this close. But here, because of the enclosure, you can really get close and appreciate just how huge these guys are. I watched the moose, which is the largest member of the deer family and the largest subspecies of moose are the ones you will find up here in Alaska. If you watched last year's Safari Yellowstone, you know just how excited we were to see the moose. Put in hope that our Alaska trip would be filled with them, we were already off to a good start. As this big guy went to find a spot by his pond, I took out my camera and got a few shots that showcased his large rack. These antlers that are grown every spring and drop in the late fall can reach over four feet across. His still had some velvet on them, 
which is skin with blood running through it, which slowly starts to fall off once the antlers have reached their full size. We said so long to this beautiful boy and went towards Seward, Alaska, where we hope to see an animal a lot larger than this moose. Thanks for watching this edition of Safari Alaska. For more information about the wildlife featured, read the description below. As always, thanks for watching. Moose.